When we left you last, we were flying from the Okavango Delta to Chobe National Park. In this episode, we arrive in Kasani, see amazing animals, and are stuck after dark inside the National Park. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Kasani is a small town in northern Botswana where the countries of Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Namibia all come together. A few minutes later, our driver picked us up and took us to the Muchenji Lodge. We arrived just in time to drop our bags and head out on a game drive. Chobe National Park was established in 1968 and it is known for its massive herd of elephants and Cape buffalo. This is August and it's the dry season, so the animals congregate along the Chobe River so we have a much better chance of seeing more animals. This gray lorry is also called a go-away bird for two reasons. Its call actually sounds like it is saying go away. and they warn animals that predators are in the area. This is my favorite antelope, the kudu. They have the most amazing set of horns. They can actually grow up to six feet or about two meters long while making two and a half twists. On the way out of the park, we got stuck in the deep sand and had to be rescued. Oh, they are very deep, oh no. And we're free. Little did we know, this was a sign of what was to come. Now let's give you a tour of the Muchenji Lodge. This is the main gathering area. It has a full bar and plenty of comfortable seating and an amazing view of the Chobe River Valley. Our room is a nice size with a tile floor, comfortable king bed that has mosquito netting around it. And a good sized bath with a large stand up shower. Each room is its own individual cottage with a beautiful view of the river. This is the path that takes us back to the main lodge and once again, we have to be escorted after dark. There is a lovely pool, but it was a little cold this time of year. A bit further on, and we're now back to the main lodge where the dining hall is. and a beautiful view deck. Each meal is family style seating and buffet. The next morning, we went on an early game drive, leaving at 6 a.m. just before the sun comes up. The night before we arrived, lions had killed a baby elephant oh 
a little ways down from the lodge by the river. Oh, I do see it. See yeah, up there? Yeah. Poor little baby. So we drove there to see what nighttime predators might still be around. You want to give me that branch? Okay. The elephants spend their night up in the forest. Then late morning they move down toward the river so they can be there by the heat of the day. branches of the baobab tree look like roots sticking up into the air as if it had been planted upside down. Baobabs are very difficult to kill. They can be burnt or stripped of their bark and they will just form new bark and carry on growing. When they do die, they simply rot from the inside and suddenly collapse, leaving a heap of fibers, which makes many people think that they don't die at all but just simply disappear. After a tip from another guide, we found these lying snoozing in the bushes. This is the matriarch, and our guide tells us that she damaged that front canine tooth in a fight with a buffalo a few weeks ago. This pride consists of this matriarch, her sister, and their approximately three-year-old offspring. You'll notice many of these lions still have their baby spots. After the early morning game drive, we boarded this boat for a cruise down the Chobe River. About midday, we pulled up to the shore for lunch. As we ate our baked chicken and pasta salad, we watched the elephants gather across the river in preparation to cross over for their afternoon spa treatment in the mud. One of the larger elephants was the first one out in the water. Notice how the small elephants are sandwiched in between the larger family members as they cross. In spite of their size, elephants are good swimmers. Oh, that one's going to push it up. Pushed it up. See? Oh, my goodness. I did. The, the one in the back, I think, pushed it up. Oh, 
Oh, now that big male is going to block the babies coming out of the water. After crossing the river, adults and children both went for a roll in the mud. The mud provides them with protection from the sun and relief from insect bites. After our river cruise, we were picked up by the Land Rover and we took a game drive through Choby on the way back to the lodge. It's believed that Steenbach pair for life, but the male and female live a fairly solitary existence within their large territory. Late in the afternoon, the elephants are leaving the river and heading back into the forest. This family happened to cross paths with a small lion pride. Mama stopped. Thankfully, there was no drama and they simply passed each other. As we were leaving the park shortly before it closed, on a road that isn't driven very often, in a location with no cell service, the vehicle began to have problems. That heart is going to die on you because you're dumping a lot of white smoke that fast. Yeah. yeah. This you is go, can't get that much compression on it or it'll kill you. It fouls out your flow. It would die every time KB, our guide, tried to put it into second gear. Instead of continuing along that deserted road, he turned around and we limped back to the picnic area where there's cell service. So here we are, broken down in the uh, Toby National Park at right about 630 because the park closes right now. We are by the bathrooms. Luckily, there was some cell service. So, someone is coming to get us. It'll take probably 30 minutes, which will be dark. But, there you have it. Now, we just had to wait for someone to drive all the way from Machenje to rescue us. Okay. By this time, the park had officially closed and the sun was setting quickly. We're on the watch out for something interesting other than Franklin's and furbit monkeys. There is a leopard who lives in this area. Oh, buffalo skull, looky there. Might as well make the best of something to eat that buffalo. Being stuck. We had thankfully had sundowner materials left and we made sundowners. Gosh, that's a beautiful sky. Our rescue has arrived and now it's a long cold ride back to the lodge. The next day, we took a tour of the local village called 
Mabele. It's a very small village with no central business district. These ladies were prepared for our visit. We stopped alongside of the road while KB told us about this main store. It's a school holiday and these girls wanted to come talk. This one's gonna come talk to us. She's bold. You can see them tromping out here. Tumala! <laughs> How are you today? Fine. Good. What are you doing? No school? No. no. No school? Are you enjoying the holiday? Yes. yes. Hi. Hi. Do you live here? Right here? No. no. Are you all just friends or do you have sisters here? Yes. Yes? yes. yes? You have all friends. That's yes. nice. Mm. Right on. How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. I remember when I was thirteen. Very long ago. <laughs> Very long ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're how old? What? How old are you? I'm 14. 14. 14. Oh, okay. Are you are you in charge here? Yes. Okay. I'm older than them. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so you. It's a Peru club. Oh. Our culture. It is part of your culture. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We we dance. We wear this and oh. dance. She has on a really pretty skirt. Like a, oh, yeah. Yeah. Show yeah. them your skirt. It's so pretty. Okay. Turn around. Okay, this, this He's so pretty. No, no. <laughs> See how it's got all. Okay, we can start singing and dancing. Okay, let's. Every day is Thursday. It's very pretty. I like it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing that. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. I love you too. Hey, we love you. Great! She's so sweet! It is currently school holidays, so there are no children here at this school. But this is the teacher housing. 
which is just right next door to the school. Thank you. What age classroom is this? I love kindergarten. They're fun. Oh, look, we could learn. Is, is this Setswana or Subia? Setswana. It is Setswana. Yeah. We could learn more Setswana. Today is Labon. Mm. In Fatwe? Yeah. Fat, Patwe. Yeah, Pat Patwe. Palane? Palane? Palani. Palani. You teach them English as well. Yes. Because all the learning is written in both languages. So English is, they start very early. Very early. Yeah. It's the longest, yes. I was also telling you. Sorry. What is happening? In that month. Like, you see, say, let me see. It's very, very cold. Don't go out. Palani. Impala is called? Impala. It's called Pala. 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 So the British just say Impala, but we call it Pala. So, yeah. So, October, that's when the Impalas are pregnant, and then we are getting some more babies. September, let's see. Yeah. You see, we are getting. September very soon. You see, the, now the clouds are coming up. Yeah. Mm. Then they say the clouds are situated having uh, some money sick. So the clouds are sick, they are crazy, they want to go there. So we say the clouds are sick. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> and then this is a very interesting one. Moana means a child. Moana. Moana. Yeah, Moana. Moana. So our grandparents, remember we are raised by grandparents. And then when they go to the farm, they bring some wild fruits, some maize. If it is tender, lot of food, plenty of food. So you bring a big set on, the, on her head and put it down and say, you are not there. So kiss, grab whatever, whatever, whatever you want, yeah. because there's plenty. So they are saying, one is there. One is November. It's like, yeah, it's like this. Uh, yeah. Oceania. Oceania. Oceania with the O? No, O. Ho. H O. No, no, G O. Oh, G O. H O is Swahili. As is G S L A. Okay. Oceania. Oceania. It's Kiali right? Let's take it. Kiali Boha. Kiali Boha. Yes. Kiali Boha. On the way back to the lodge, we happen to see some sable running across the road. This is not a common occurrence. Even our guide was excited to see it. That night, I wasn't feeling very well, so John went on the night safari on his own. They went back to the baby elephant, and they found the hyenas having a buffet. I do believe this guy is smiling for the camera. While they were watching the feeding frenzy, the jeep got a flat tire. So John and the driver got out, in the dark, amongst all these predators, and changed the flat tire. The next morning, it was time to go. We had a lovely van ride to the Kasani Airport, and then we were picked up in an open safari vehicle for a 30-minute drive to the Zimbabwe border. So this is where we'll leave you for now. Next time, join us as we visit Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe.